I think personal control is is absolutely critical. I mean, as a somebody who does psychotherapy, having the sense that one has mastery again and control is really, really important. Um, we train and train and train to give soldiers a, a sense of competence, both on and off the battlefield. And when you have a trauma, that, I always say when it, with any kind of travel, trauma, whether it be psychological or physical, there's a sense of betrayal, betrayal of one's body, betrayal of one's God, betrayal of uh, a sense of safety, um, and there's grief associated with that. So if we can restore this sense of control, that's very powerful, because one of the things I think that amplifies psychological trauma and may be misinterpreted as TBI by the patient is the sense of locus of control. I can't affect the things going on around me, and I couldn't do anything to change that. So when we say, you know, it's almost like metaphorically like Dorothy and her ruby slippers, you know, all you really needed to know how to do is click your heels together three times and you can get back to Kansas. And you never lost that ability, but how the trip to Kansas might look different than it used to. That's probably the tricky part. Um, we might have to take a longer route, but you, we think you can get there. And then there may be some tougher discussions. If there really is a true change in functioning, um, then uh, we're going to have to have a discussion about that and talk to the family about that as well. But for these mild to moderate traumatic brain injury cases where they're ambulatory, they're the walking wounded with the invisible wounds of war, they're already functioning a little bit better than the ones with more severe head injuries, and so it's not going to be as obvious. Um, and usually we can restore a lot of those neurocognitive pathways, um, and we can show the patient that they do still maintain competency and probably most areas, and what we'll do is exploit their successes and try to build up the areas where they have some deficits now. The brain's remarkably resilient that way.